Hello everyone, welcome back to Academically. So, Elizabeth is asking basically, it means that there, there is no OSCE exam included. So, as I mentioned in this video, we mentioned that uh, CAPS exam now opera. You know? So, if you want to become a registered pharmacist in Australia in 2025, you need to write this opera exam to become a registered pharmacist in Australia. Okay. So, the opera exam it is an online exam. You can write in your home country and there is no need to give this OSCE exam you know so once you pass this opera exam and uh, then you are a equivalent to a australian graduates you know so you also need to do one year internship uh, once you pass this opera exam similarly those are australian graduate they also need to do one year internship while you are doing internship internship it is not for one year it's like hours one five seven five hours 1575 hours you need to complete this internship in Australia okay and once you are doing in your internship complete your internship around uh, 70 percent then you need to write this written and oral exam you know this is also you need to write whether you pass the uh, opera exam or you are Australian graduate you know so the opera exam only extra you are writing once you pass this opera exam now you are equivalent to your Australian graduate up Australian graduate ke bravo hai. अब जो भी काम होगा इसके बाद में बोथ यू नीड टू डू द सेम थिंग सेम इंटर्नशिप सेम एग्जाम फॉर एग्जांपल रिटर्न एग्जाम यू नीड टू पास आफ्टर ऑपरा एंड ऑस्ट्रेलियन ग्रेजुएट आल्सो नीड टू पास सेम एग्जाम सिमिलरली दिस यू कैन से ऑल एग्जाम और ऑस्की एग्जाम यू आल्सो नीड टू पास and Australian graduate also need to pass this OSCE OS, on this OSCE exam so OSCE exam is a next step hai abhi aapko nahi dena hai uh, in opera ke time par but you need to give uh, once you are in Australia once you are working as a uh, pharmacy intern 70% internship aapko complete karne ke baad around aapko exam jo hai likhna padta hai na to wo sab ko uh, OSCE exam is mandatory for everyone this is not just for you as a foreign uh, pharmacy graduate OSCE exam in Australia or foreign countries mandatory for all healthcare practitioners. For example, any registered nurse pass BSc from India or MBBS degree or dentistry degree or any other degree. You know, all who have part two exam, the clinical exam, the OSCE exam, is mandatory. So, all who have part two exam, the clinical exam, the OSCE exam, is mandatory. So, all who have part two exam, the but not at the beginning you need to pass at the end of your registration process so once you pass this exam and complete your internship then you will get a full registration then independently you can work as a registered pharmacist in australia okay i hope aapko aapko ye to tarif hui hui hai ki oski exam aapko kab dena hai aur ki jo opera exam kab dena hai opera pehle dena hai aapko then australia mein jaane ke baad 70% internship khatam karne ke baad aapko jo hai ye और जो है ऑस्के एग्जाम देना होगा एंड इफ यू वांट टू जॉइन एकेडमिकली यू कैन कनेक्ट अस एंड मोर इंफॉर्मेशन आप यू कैन बुक योर वन आवर फ्री कंसल्टेशन विद आवर टीम टू गेट मोर इंफॉर्मेशन आई विल सी यू इन माय वीडियो बाय